saint of the day. So today it's Saint Bucharis. So on this day, March the 26th, 2024, we honor Saint Bucharis, a figure whose life exemplified unwavering faith and dedication to serving others. Born in the 7th century in France, Saint Bucharis was drawn to the monastic life from a very young age, eventually entering the monastery of Montefaucon Simonier. His commitment to a life of prayer, study and selfless service soon marked him as a devoted and respected member of the community. Saint Bucharis was renowned for his humility and simplicity, qualities that endeared him to both his fellow monks and the wider community. Despite his position within the monastery, he was known to perform the most menial tasks with joy and dedication, seeing them as opportunities for spiritual growth rather than burdens to be endured. One lesser known aspect of St. Bucharis' life is his deep love for nature and his belief in the interconnectedness of all living beings. He often spoke of the beauty of God's creation and the importance of stewardship in caring for the earth and its inhabitants. One of his famous statements recorded in the annals of the monastery is a reflection of this sentiment. In the song of the birds, and the whisper of the wind, I hear the voice of God speaking to my soul. St. Bacchorus' legacy extends beyond his quiet life within the monastery walls. He was known for his acts of compassion and generosity towards the poor and the marginalized, offering them not only material support, but also the solace of his presence and prayers. He dedicated his whole life to living out the teachings of Christ in everyday life, which serves as an inspiration to all who seek to follow in his footsteps. So as we reflect on the life of St. Bacchorus, let us strive to emulate his virtues of humility, simplicity and love for all of creation. May his example remind us that greatness is found not in the grand gestures or worldly acclaim, but in the humble service of others. Let us pray. O oh God, who inspired St. Bacchorus to lead a life of humble service and devotion, please grant us the grace to follow this example. May we, like him, find joy in the simple tasks of everyday life and strive to bring your love and compassion to all whom we encounter. Through his intercession, may we grow in holiness and draw closer to you, now and forever. Amen. From a friend of Our Lady.